The proper name for the branching system of airways that carry air from your mouth to the alveoli of your lungs is the tracheobronchial tree, named after its two major constituents, the upper trachea and the lower bronchi. This video is sponsored by Kenhub. More about them at the end. The trachea is a midline tubular structure that starts at the inferior part of the larynx. It runs down the neck and into the thorax and lies just anterior to the esophagus along its whole route. The trachea itself is composed of 16 to 20 C-shaped cartilaginous rings that are connected to one another by a thin membrane. Posteriorly, the free edges of these rings are joined to one another by the trachealis muscle. This muscle can contract to narrow the trachea, which facilitates coughing, and also provides room for expansion of the esophagus when swallowing food. The innermost layer of the trachea is composed of pseudostratified columnar epithelium with goblet cells that secrete mucus to trap particulate matter trying to make its way down into the lungs. Subsequent layers contain elastin, collagen and hyaline cartilage and act to support the trachea whilst allowing some flexibility. Blood supply to the trachea comes from the tracheoesophageal arteries, which themselves come from the inferior thyroid and bronchial arteries. At the level of the T4, T5 intervertebral disc, approximately the angle of Louis, the trachea bifurcates into the left and right main bronchi. The point at which this happens is known as the carina. The bronchi is structurally similar to the trachea, only narrower in diameter and with less consistent cartilaginous rings. The right main bronchus, which carries air to the right lung, is oriented more vertically than the left, and thus inhaled foreign bodies are more likely to become lodged down the right side. Within the lungs, the main bronchi branch again. The right main bronchus first branches to the superior lobar bronchus and the bronchus intermedius, and the bronchus intermedius branches into the middle and inferior lobar bronchi. On the left, it branches directly into the superior and inferior lobar bronchi. You'll notice that there's one lobar bronchus for each major lobe of the lungs. Next, the lobar bronchi will branch into segmental bronchi, which join their individual bronchopulmonary segment of the lung. The bronchopulmonary segments are considered the main functional units of the lung and act similarly to the segments of the liver. They are separated from one another by fibrous septa known as the pulmonary interstitium. Within the bronchopulmonary segments, the segmental bronchi will continue to branch into smaller and smaller airways known as bronchioles. These bronchioles do not have a cartilaginous ring like the bronchi or trachea. This branching continues a total of 20 to 25 more times to produce conducting bronchioles, terminal bronchioles, respiratory bronchioles, and eventually the alveoli of the lungs, where gas exchange takes place. The average adult has around 300 million alveoli. Blood is supplied to the bronchi and their segments by the bronchial arteries, which themselves start from the descending thoracic aorta. Venous drainage is predominantly into the pulmonary veins, which are located in the interstitial spaces between the segments. That was a lot of anatomy, but if you're looking for a smart way to reinforce everything you've just learned, I've got a great recommendation. I've partnered with Kenhub, a platform I've personally used since med school and one I still rely on when creating content for this channel. Their resources are genuinely some of the best out there for mastering complex anatomy. With Kenner Premium you get full access to their structured study units, like this one on the cranial fossae. Each unit includes in-depth video tutorials with captions, speed controls and transcripts, space repetition quizzes that adapt to your progress and help you retain information longer, exam mode which simulates test-style conditions and marks your progress, and my favourite feature, the Custom Quiz Tool, which lets you build your own revision sets based on topics you want to focus on. You'll also get access to high-resolution anatomical atlases, handy muscle reference charts, and round-the-clock support from Kenub's team of anatomy geeks if you ever get stuck on a tricky topic. And the best part, viewers of More Than Skin Deep get 10% off Kenub Premium with the link in the description below. It's a great way to support your learning and support the channel. Go check out Kenub Premium today. This is the first of a three-part series on the anatomy of the lungs, so remember to subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next two parts as they release. In the meantime, I hope you learned something and have a great day.